good morning guys um sorry i just woke up but i thought i should really share this because i was really compelled to do so so i just watched uh lifunos mabungu or mabungas uh, funeral uh, online now and it really pained me and i felt like i was really lucky uh, not to have taken my life because <clears throat> I think I was two years older than her because I think she's 15 yes so I was 17 uh, when I almost did the same thing that she did uh, by committing suicide taking pills so I know that my mom is probably not aware of this as well but I thought I should share I'm not gonna go much into details because I don't know if it's gonna end up hurting people. Probably the people that have done this, they have forgotten about it. But uh, for so many years, I was bullied by my family uh, that I stayed with. So I didn't grow up with my mom uh, because my mom, like she got me when she was 20, she had to go like work and uh actually she had to kind of like firstly go work save up for college money for first year and then after like finishing her college she had to kind of like work you know sometimes she got like a job far from home and she was like renting and all of that so i was beaten most of the time by uh obviously it wasn't like all people but uh some kids that i lived with one four years older than me and um uh one two years or four years yeah the other one was four years older than me the other one was four years uh, younger than me they were siblings and should they happen to see this they shouldn't feel bad about it because they know how much i love them and they know how much i have forgiven them without them asking for forgiveness but i hope maybe this can help someone that sometimes bullying can really push you to do such things i'm not sure if lufuno has been bullied in the past or this was the first incident but for my case um i was bullied for so many years i think um it started when i was in primary as far as grade nine and then i moved and then it continued later on later stage but it wasn't more of like bullying now it was more emotionally so i think i was kind of like physically strong but perhaps emotionally i wasn't that strong and i understand with the case of lufuno because she was beaten and then there was video circulating in the social media during those times we did have like social media but um it wasn't as viral as today you know so yes and uh i just had enough that's why i'm saying i don't want to go into details about it it was so many incident some of the incident has left me with specific uh physical conditions such as my left no my right hand it's actually the weakest hence usually your right hand is the strongest so mine <coughs> The right hand is the weakest because on some of the beatings i had in i i have been injured it's it's not like i was the 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 joint here was broken it wasn't broken but it, it was kind of like dislocated of which the primary care which is the clinic during those times it wasn't really good where i stayed in the rural area but when i moved to a specific area um i then had to see a physiotherapy for so many at times to try and help me to ease the pain because sometimes i couldn't even if bath myself like i'll feel like you know it's so weak such that i can't really you know like wash myself but as i'm saying that i don't think even if my family members or the people that have done this to me are aware i i don't know but anyway i'm just saying that these kind of things can really push you and then i remember one day i was trying to peel potatoes to make like uh, fried chips because i used to love fried chips making making them my own uh so um then 
oh, I just had enough. Everything was just coming back to my mind. And um, yeah, it just came back into my mind. I was just processing. I'm like, yo, it's been, by then it was, it was more than five years that has been happening because it started in primary and and then at a very young age and then i was like 17 years and stuff it was still happening like it do like now it was more like emotionally yes i i don't want to go through details i don't want to remember the incident but um yeah so uh i just had enough i remember i was peeling my potatoes tears was just rolling down in the pot because i was peeling them and put them on the pot and i had to cut them tears were just rolling down i'm like i've had enough so my mother was diagnosed with high blood pressure so she had those pills but she wasn't really taking them and i like okay i'm taking those pills because those were kind of like the only abundant pills that we had in the house because she hasn't been using them she was just keeping them aside I took, I took two packs of those uh, high blood pressure pills. Then I sat down. I was alone, you know, one home. And I remember very well. It was more like around 10, 11. Because I was kind of like preparing for lunch. I started like, I can't remember if I opened them or I still had them with me. And then I was like, I'm doing this. The Lord spoke clearly to me because... I remember I had like a deep relationship with the Lord. I spent so much time praying about those incidents. I was like, God, what must I do? I like I'm really struggling now. My life like seems like these incidents keep on happening. The Lord spoke clearly to me that um, do not do it because these people do not deserve your life. You've got so much, so much that I've planned for your life. You still gonna go far and i remember it didn't make sense like how am i gonna go far because things like didn't seem like i was gonna go anywhere by that time i thought okay i might end up not even if like finishing school i might just fail i'm not gonna end up like going to varsity and all of that but the god had a better plan and it wasn't easy i was able to not do it never told anyone <laughs> never told anyone i think i might have told a few of my friends but i i'm sure my mom is not aware yeah so well i didn't do it and i thank the lord for that hence um yes some of all these bullings i i developed ulcers at a very very young age um because they said it was due to stress well i don't know if it's true but yeah that's what happened and yes i still have that uh this arm or the joint here it's not that strong uh but i'm i'm thankful to the lord that i didn't do it because even if though my family member did this we we have a good relationship today though they never ask for forgiveness but i just this is more like a testimony to me that the lord has helped me the lord has made me to even if forgive them without them asking for forgiveness and that today i'm able to help them with with things without um you know saying that no they don't deserve my help of course i have to confess that sometimes i think i'm a fool because sometimes you know that thing comes into my mind that how could i help people that has harmed me so much you know but yeah so, sometimes you kind of like left with you are like left with the scar of you know the pain and more especially with myself that i've got those um um uh, health conditions such as uh, as I've mentioned that my uh, left my right arm and and or hand whatever you can call it because once it pains here the entire hand is like so weak that's why I can't carry like so heavy stuff and whenever it pains you are reminded of what had happened um yeah I know that they they tried to organize like counseling back then i think with a social worker but it didn't really help yeah like i remember last week this pain like i can feel it a bit last week it was worse and i like i was busy asking myself why did i carry that was heavy so i i yeah i'm so sorry for 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 lufono's uh family she was very young she had like a lot to accomplish just like me when i tried 
or I had a thought of wanting to do it at the age of 17. Uh, but uh, for perhaps for those that know me, I'm not rich, <laughs> but I think I've accomplished a lot of things um, uh, and given my background and I, I have touched so many lives uh, through Christ who strengthened me. So I believe that also Lufuno was going to do some, something similar or even if greater. So yeah, guys, I was just comp compelled to share this. And perhaps to say those people that just keep on harming people or bully people, if you feel like you need help, you don't know how to control you being bossy and feel like you've got the right to uh, harm other kids, bull them, either physical or emotional. As I mentioned, mine started physical, but it was more both mine. It was physical, emotional. But by that time, when I wanted to take the pills, it was only emotional. And being reminded how stupid and how much of a fool I have been. <laughs> Actually, when I think about it, my bullying started at a very young age. Now, I'm recalling some of the things that my family members used to say. You know, they used to say that I will never amount to anything because, like, my father left me before I was born and all of that. So, I feel like, you know, perhaps when I tried to take the pulse, it's because, yeah... <laughs> can't believe i'm crying because this thing happened long time ago like i i i feel like it started at a very young age but these people that used to say that my father left me it was not only those people that bullied me physical and everything it was some of the extended family members as i said i didn't live with my mom yeah but i was told those things that i was useless my father left me and all of that i wouldn't amount to anything and all that's that's emotional bullying guys so <laughs> it's crazy that my life you know even if at the much later age uh when i was in varsity 2017 so it's like 20 2007 i tried to take my life and uh 2017 i was now in in an uh abusive relationship again uh but uh, i i never tried to take my life but i uh, it kind of like affected me uh my health like a lot of which maybe i'll maybe i'll be brave to share that again but yeah i just thank the lord that he has really pulled me through uh and yeah guys i'm sorry for sharing on my this while i'm still on my pajamas <laughs> i haven't brushed my teeth even uh, so yeah guys but I've, I'm like having a, a busy day today so I thought I must just share now because it's either now or never you know so yeah guys uh, thank you so much for listening please if you see someone that is bullying someone do not uh, applaud it uh, but rather encourage that thing to be stopped or encourage the person to go see help because I don't think it's normal for someone to just bully someone else it means they are going through something in their hearts which it's not right and yeah uh okay guys bye